first experiment on ampli operational amplifier characteristics we are going to see the frequency response of an amp amp through this experiment for this experiment we need we are having the circuit diagram so this is the circuit diagram for frequency response so you must have one ic 741 operational amplifier ic and 2.2 kilo ohm resistor and one capacitor of 47 microfarad 10 kilo ohm resistance one and the one another 1 kilo ohm resistor and 100 ohm resistor along with we need function generator to supply ac signal and we need cro to measure the voltage so these are the components required for this experiment i will post the circuit as a photo in ppt so we will see the connections so previously we have discussed how to give supply power supply to the ic we need to give dual supply so you must have two individual power supplies out of which a positive of one power supply is connected to seventh pin so this is the positive supply positive terminal so i have connected this with seventh terminal of the ic so you all know that how to point out the pin so you have to start it from the dot position so in the ic you can able to note down the ic dot so from the dot you have to start it the number so the dot position indicates first pin from there on you have to go down 1 2 3 4 and opposite to 4 is the fifth pin 5 6 7 8 8 pin ic is the ic 741 operational amplifier i am giving power supply by means of dual mode so in the dual mode from the first power supply on the dual mode the positive connection is given to seventh pin and the negative terminal of the same power supply i am going to ground it now so i am taking this bottom so these are interconnected in row wise so i am giving grounding as a common terminal for the negative terminal of the one's power supply where its positive terminal is given connection to seventh pin and I am going for second supply in the dual mode I am having two supplies I am going to second supply in the second supply the positive, positive terminal to be grounded and the negative terminal negative terminal to be given to fourth pin so that is minus VCC so in theory you will see why we are giving positive VCC positive supply to seventh pin and negative supply to fourth pin so it is a differential amplifier so nothing but two transistors interconnected to form a differential amplifier so for that we need to give biasing supply so biasing supply is given by means of two power supplies dual mode so out of this two power supply positive of one supply is given to to seventh pin of ic and its negative pin is given to a ground and in another power supply positive is grounded so blue indicates is a positive uh, blue blue is the negative one and here black is the negative so negative is given to fourth pin so fourth and seventh pin are the two pins for biasing the ic next thing first first thing we have to bias the IC. So the connection, so you have to give proper connection with the resistance and capacitances. So 1 kilo ohm is connected to second pin and 100 ohm is connected to third pin. Similarly, I have done this. So I have given this is the 100 ohm resistance that is given at the th third pin and it is grounded and another terminal of the th resistor is grounded and the second pin of the ic i am giving one kilo ohm resistance so one terminal of the resistor is connected to second pin and another terminal is placed at one point where i am giving function generator positive terminal so similarly the connection in the circuit diagram shows that i have feedback resistance so sixth is the output pin from the output i am connecting 10 kilo ohm to the input so second pin is the inverting terminal so the sixth from sixth pin using 10 kilo ohm i am giving feedback to second pin and also 
I am using capacitor connected to the output pin of sixth pin. So the output of capacitor is connected at or a negative terminal of capacitor is connected with 2.2 kilo ohm and 2.2 kilo ohms another terminal is grounded. So the other term the capacitor's negative terminal is left for getting the output. These are the connection setup. Now we are going to have what will happen. I am giving an AC signal to this. So you all know that uh, how to get the signal from function generator. So function generator to get AC signal. So I am uh, using 50 ohm transmission line. This is a probe. So the fifth, uh, normally the transmission uh, line should have certain impedance and that impedance should be matches with the output terminal of this function generator that's why they have mentioned it as 50 ohm so that 50 ohm output terminal of function generator should match with 50 ohm transmission line so they must have same transmission or uh, impedance that is satisfy maximum power transfer theorem so the function generator output is taken and is given the positive terminal of the function generator is given to the resistor 1 kilo ohm resistor 1 kilo ohm resistors 1 terminal and the other end of the 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected to second inverting terminal of the IC so in the function generator I am giving positive connection to 1 kilo ohm and negative terminal of the function generator to ground so uh, before that we have to fix for this frequency response experiment you must have a minimum voltage of 50 millivolt so for that I have to give attenuation that is decibel minus 40 decibel is giving attenuation so just press shift and enable by pressing 3 so it indicates I have enabled minus 40 decibel so it shows that the output from this function generator will be of very minimal amplitude. So just to see, I am giving voltage now. So what is the voltage now? 50 millivolt. If I need to get 100 millivolt, I have to vary this amplitude now. So just 50 millivolt is enough for my experiment. around 50 so 1 or 2 millivolt is not a problem so yeah, I have fixed 50 millivolt as the input signal to the IC and next you have to fix the biasing voltage always the biasing voltage dual mode should both the power supply should have 15 volt so I am increasing through chorus and fixing as 15 15 millivolt 50 volt 15 volt okay i have fixed 15 15 in both the power supply so that is i am getting uh, i or i am supplying 15 positive 15 volt to seventh pin and negative 15 volt to fourth pin so these are the connection giving setup. Now I am going to give or uh, measure the output through CRO. So CRO should have two terminals, one for positive, another for negative. Always the negative terminals are grounded. So I am connecting the blank terminal to ground. And positive terminal to the capacitor so as per the circuit diagram I am giving the connection so I am giving the output the positive terminal of CRO to the capacitor now we'll, you will see some you will see the square wave in the output screen it indicates some processing has been taken in the IC 
so uh, the single the sound for one operational amplifier ic meant for amplification <coughs> many applications are there for this operational amplifier so we have to doing this experiment to so the frequency response what the frequency response is so what is the frequency range it can able to withstand or what is the frequency i can able to use for my application using this ic so if i am using this ic for filter purpose so filter is nothing but so selecting certain frequency and uh, deselecting certain frequencies so for that i should have certain cut off frequency so whether the cut off frequency is suitable for this ic i have to know whether this cut off frequency is suitable for this ic so for that we have to know what is the frequency range it can able to accommodate or it can withstand so the frequency range we have to measure by means of frequency response experiment so what i am doing is so i have and set the input voltage as 50 millivolt and now i am moving to switching to frequency for displaying frequency so i am varying the frequency 